my YouTube channel Techie Code Buddy. I hope you are doing extremely well and your placement preparation is also going well. Well, guys, first of all, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed this channel till now, then make sure to do subscribe this channel as this really motivates me to make more such content for you and for your placement preparation. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you will never miss any update from my side. Also, you can join our Telegram community. This is open for discussion. And I am sharing the resources to prepare. Okay, so all the resources are free. So you can join the Telegram and from there you can access to the resources. So let's start with the problem statement. So this problem was recently asked in an on-campus experiential exam. So in this video, we will be solving the problem. We will make a logic and then we will use to code to solve this problem. First of all, Given an array A of positive integers of size n. So there is an array which contains the size n. Now, where each value represents the number of chocolates in a packet. So n should n must be the total number of packets and, and each element of the array is represent the chocolates in one packet. Right. Now each packet can have a variable number of chocolates. So this is not mandatory that each packet will be having the similar uh, count of chocolates. It can be very or it can be similar as well. Now, there are M students. The task is to distribute chocolate packets among as M students. Okay, so there will be a M student. You have to distribute the chocolates among those of the students. Okay, but there are two conditions. First is each student gets exactly one packet. So if there is a N packet and there are only five students, so you have to just distribute five packets, okay? The remaining three will be left as it is. Now, the second condition is the difference between maximum number of chocolates given to a student and minimum number of chocolates given to a student is minimum. One who will get the maximum number of chocolates and the one who will get the minimum number of chocolates. This gap should be minimum. This is the question, okay? So let's have a look on example. So suppose there are eight packets and we have to distribute them among five students. Now, this array represents that how many chocolates are there in each of the packet. Okay, so there are eight packets. So in the very first packet, just let me take the pen. So in the very first packet, there are three chocolates. In the second packet, there are four chocolates. In the third packet, there are one chocolate, so on, so forth. Right, now... The output is 6. Now, how is the output coming? So, the minimum difference between maximum chocolates and minimum chocolates is 9 minus 3 equals to 6 by choosing following M packets. So, you have to choose M packets. Okay, as we have to distribute all the chocolates or we can say the packets among 5 students here. So, we will choose only 5 packets to distribute. Okay, not more than that or not less than that. We will choose 5 packets. And we can choose any packet. We can either taking the third packet, we can either taking the fifth packet or we can uh, either taking the seventh packet and so and so. Okay. But the idea is this time there are only eight packets and there will be a multiple combinations to select the packets in such a way like we will distribute the chocolates and one student will get the maximum number of chocolates and one student will get the Minimum number of chocolates. So there are k possible ways. We don't know how many possible ways are there. So I'm uh, taking is as a random value k. Now we don't know that how much time it will take to find out all the cases, and then we will find out the minimum uh, gap, right? So what we will do here is so if we have to play with maximum and minimum, so what we will do, we will simply short our array. Okay, we will simply short our array. Then we will be taking the packets and we will be distributing the packets according to these conditions. Okay, so let me take the example. So suppose we are taking this example only. So let's move on to the open board and see the logic. So there are, first of all, let me take the pen. Yeah. So there are N packets and we have to distribute N packets among five students. Now these are the chocolates in each packet. So first of all, the idea is if we take the array in a sorted order, then it will be super easy to find the minimum gap. Okay. So, first of all, we will short the array. So, the array will like 1, 3, 4, 7, 9 is occurring 2 times. So, 9 is 2 times there. Then 12 and then 56. Okay. Now, 
what we have to do is we have to distribute the packets among five students okay among five students so one two three four five so this will be our first combination this can be our first combination like in such a way we can distribute our uh, cho uh, chocolate packets among the students now now as the already is uh, as the array is already sorted so must be this will be the maximum number and this will be the minimum so first of all what we will do first of all we will take the difference of these okay and i am taking this difference in uh, like difference okay i am storing the difference in this now so what is the difference here is the difference is 8 now it can be happen that further we will find a combination of numbers that will give us the minimum difference so we will check for the another best possible answer so now this time as we have to distribute five packets so we will take this survey now from let me change the color of my pen here so that you uh, you will get the better idea of it so now we will take this thing okay till three to nine as we have to take consecutive values so that we can get the minimum gap so easily okay so we will take the consecutive values only okay and we will take this combination now so as we can see here in this array that this is the minimum number and this is the maximum number so let's take the difference of these so now the difference is six okay now the difference is six okay so we have already find out the best possible answer in comparison to the first one now let it now it may be a case that we will further find a best possible answer so let's take another savary okay so let me again change my color of pen so now this time we are taking this savary okay now this time we are taking this savary okay and we have to take the size of five okay as we have to distribute five elements now this will be, so this is the minimum count and this is the maximum number so we will again take the difference of these so the difference of these is eight so okay so this time this is having eight now this is not the good answer in comparison to the previous one but okay let's try further so now we will check again i am writing with this okay so now we will move further and we will take from here from seven okay and we will go still 12 uh, uh, one two three we will go still 56 okay so let's find out the difference between the minimum and the maximum so this difference will be 49 right yeah this this difference will be 49 so this is the first answer this is the first answer so among all the combination what was the best possible answer so among all the combinations the best possible answer was six. so six will be written by this. now let's take another example first of all let me erase it i am taking here okay now the next is there are seven elements and we have to distribute chocolate packets among three students and there are uh, there are the chocolates in the packets now first of all what we have to do we have to sort the array so we will sort the array like this to just a minute we have to change the pan color so that it will be visible yeah so first of all we will write like two then three then four then seven nine twelve and fifty six okay now we have to uh, distribute three three packets so First of all, we will take this survey. One, two, three. Okay, this survey. And we will find the difference. We will find the difference. So here the minimum element is two and the maximum is four. So we will simply take the difference of this. We will find out two. Okay, now. Now we have to look further for the best possible answer. So we will take the sub array. will start from three and, and it will be ended on seven. Okay, three combination. And we have to distribute three packets only. So we will check for this. Now the minimum value is 3 and the maximum value is 7. So 7 minus 3 will be 4. So this is not the best possible answer in the comparison of the previous one. Okay. So we will move further. So we will take now 4 till 9. Okay. So we will find out the difference. 9 minus 4 is 5. So this is not again the not the best possible answer in comparison to the first one. We will move further and we will take this 7 to 12. 
Now, 12 minus 7 will be 5. Again, this is not the best possible answer. So, we will move further and we will take it like this. Like this, right? So, 56 minus 9. 56 minus 9, what it will be? It will again not the best possible answer. Now, we will not move further as we have to take at least 3. At least 3 brackets, okay? So, we will not move further. So, this is how the loop will go up to the I value will be I plus M minus 1. So, what it is? It is, what, what is M? M here is the number of students. So, uh, this is the count of subarray length, we can say. This is the, uh, this is the size of subarray length. Okay. And Y minus 1 here as the index starts from 0. So, we will take it as minus 1. Now, how we can code it? This uh, Now, how we can code this solution? So, let's see the code in the BS code. So, I have already included the required libraries here and this T is for, this T is for representing test cases and from here we are taking input of test cases. Now, first of all, what, what we have to do, we have to take the N value as input. Okay, N value as input. Then we will take the, okay, so I am declaring the size of the array as 100 this time. Okay, now we will take the array element one by one int i equals to 0 and i will go till n and i plus plus. Now, we are taking user input array of i. Okay. So, from here, now we have to take the input of number of students. Okay. Now, it is done. Now, first of all, we will check whether the value of n and m is 0 or not. If either of the value is 0, so, so, first of all, the base case will be if n value or if m value is equals to 0, so it will return, uh, return the answer as 0. So, first of all, we will check for base cases. n equals to 0 or m equals to 0. So, in that case, it will simply return 0. Now, now what we are going to do, we will be sorting our array and this is the short function. This is the inbuilt short function. We can use it using C++ STL. Okay. Now, we will have to check whether array size is less than M. Then in that case, the input is wrong. So, we have to return minus 1. Okay. And if all the things are okay, then what we are going to do is, we have already short our array. So, what we will do, we will take a variable minimum difference okay and we will assign in by and we will assign it by the maximum positive integer okay now from here what we are going to do i equals to zero and i value will goes up to i plus m minus one and this will have to goes up to n as this this has to check for the whole array now in that what the, it going to happen into difference equals to array of i plus m minus 1 minus array of i. Okay. So, this will be the difference. Just a minute. This will be the difference. Okay. Now, what we have to check is if this difference is less than minimum difference, then what we have to do is we have to assign minimum difference by difference. Okay. Now, at last, what we will print? So, we will have to print the value of minimum difference. Okay. We will have to print the value of minimum difference. So, yeah, I, I think the code is done. So, let's run the code. I have already put some input. Okay, so let's run the code for the inputs. Okay, so the answer is, first of all, just let me take the pen. Just a minute, okay. Okay, so this, this, this two is for test cases. Okay, so uh, seven is, 7 is the array size. Okay, and these are the array elements. And 5 is the student's number. So, for first case, 
okay n value is 7 and m value is 5 and these are the array elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are the element, array elements by default it is sorted okay now we have to uh, distribute the chocolate packets among five students okay so first of all what what we will do we we will sort this array so this is already sorted so it doesn't make any difference there now after uh, after sorting what we are going to do we will have to take the minimum difference okay so this is the minimum element or we can say this is the minimum number of chocolate and this is the maximum number of chocolate okay so what is the difference here is four now we will look further for the best possible answer so we will take this survey now okay at size 5 array we will take as we have to put five packets so we will check for this now this is the minimum and this is the maximum number. 6 minus 2. The answer is again 4. Okay. So, we will move further for best possible answer. So, we will take 3 to 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 values will be taken again in the sub array. Now, 7 minus 3 is 4. So, in all the cases, we cannot move further as the remaining elements are only 4. But we have to go up to 5. Okay. So, we will not move further. Now, the rim, uh, now in all the cases, what we will get, we will get 4 only. So, we will return the answer as 4 and 4 is the answer. Now, let's check for another example. Okay, so let's check for another, another example. So, here the size of the area is 8 and total number of students is again 5. Now, the array is, after sorting the array will be 1, 3, 4, 7, 9, 9, 12 and 56. Okay. So, in the very first time, what we will do, we will take a subarray of this 1, 2, 5. Okay. So, these all are the elements till 9. Till the first 9, we will consider. So, this is the minimum number here and this is the maximum number here. So, first we will find out the difference. So, the difference at the very first time is 8. Now, we will look further for the best possible answer. So, this time we are taking this array, 3 to 9, okay, the second Bala 9. And we will find out the difference between the minimum number and the maximum number. So, the, so the difference will be 9 minus 3 is 6. Okay, now we have to move further for finding the best possible answer. So, we will move further and we will check for 4 to 12, 4 to 12. Now, 4 is the minimum and 12 is the maximum in this array. So, we will again take the sum. So, 12 minus 4 will be 8. So, this is not a good option. So, we will move further to finding the best possible answer. This time, 56 minus 7 and this will be 49. So, this is not again the best possible answer. And we will stop here because we cannot go further as there are only 4 elements left. But we need to, uh, but we need to 5, uh, five students or we can say 5 elements, right? So, we will no, not move further. This is why I have take, this is why we are taking here i plus m minus 1 is less than n. Okay. This case is, this condition is, comes from this thing. As we are here left with four elements, but we need uh, five, so we will not move further. So, this is why we are taking in such a way. So, yeah, this was all about this video. I hope the logic is clear to you. The code part is clear to you. I will put this code into the Telegram community. So, make sure to do that in our Telegram community. The link for the same is given in the description box. Also, I hope you like this video. If you like, then please subscribe to the channel too if you haven't. Okay, so we will meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.